What's up guys, my name is Callum and I have been sleeping on a Japanese futon for the past six years and I wanted to tell you what my experience has been. So that's right, I actually got a Japanese futon six years ago. I had just moved to Austin, Texas and I was living in a super small house, I didn't have a lot of money and my room was feeling really cluttered and so I actually got rid of the bed that was in there and got a hundred dollar Japanese futon off of Amazon. I actually made a YouTube video almost right after I got it, I made a few YouTube videos on it, you might have seen them and I'll link them below. I had just read the book Goodbye Things by Fumio Sasaki and I watched a couple of videos online of how he lives in his room and I just fell in love with the idea of a Japanese futon and just having a super clean floor and super minimal. Because I didn't have a lot of space, I really loved the simplicity of being able to roll up my bed and get it out of there during the day so that I could work and do yoga and just have that clean feeling of blank space in my room. And so I slept on the bed for quite a few years actually with no tatami mat underneath just on a hardwood floor and I got so many comments about that on my last video. I ended up living with an ex-girlfriend for a short amount of time and then when I moved into an apartment two years ago by myself, I ended up buying a tatami mat off of Amazon, which was quite flimsy and it was nice to have, but it definitely had some issues. And then recently I just moved into a new house and I actually serendipitously got an email from the futon shop asking if I wanted to review one of their beds. So I actually wanted to make this video because I think I'm in a unique situation to be able to share what it was like sleeping on a very cheap $100 Japanese futon off Amazon and then upgrading to a much nicer, sturdier bed that's organic and super high quality. Some of you might be in a position where you're deciding what bed to get. Should I spend a lot of money and get something very nice or spend not so much money and be very simple or even just have blankets on the floor? So I'm hoping to answer that question for you today. To be honest, I loved sleeping on my $100 futon. I actually liked the fact that it was just straight up on the ground. It was so simple, so humble. It felt really just very pure to me. It was just a very nice way to sleep. And like I said in previous videos, it took me about five days to get used to sleeping on it. But what I have found over the years is that when I have had girls over and they have slept on it, most of them did not like it. It's definitely a unique way to sleep and the mattress is quite firm. And now as you can tell, I have an actual tatami bed. It's a super nice mahogany wood frame coupled with some very thick nice tatami mats, a five inch Japanese futon, my last one was three inches, and a topper on top of that. I really have upgraded and gone from not having a bed frame to now having a bed frame, but still having it be minimal, natural, organic, Japanese, all the buzzwords that we love. So now no more girls can get on me about having the red flag of not having a bed frame. Oh, never date a guy with no bed frame. How do you not have a bed frame? I'm poor. All jokes aside, I actually think it's important to point out because some people like the traditional aspect of having a bed that is raised off the ground and sleeping on something that is still natural, still firm, still good for their back, but actually gives them a bit more comfort. And I do have to say that this bed is much more comfortable and enjoyable to sleep on than my previous $100 futon. Another thing to point out, I initially got very low legs to the ground when I ordered this because I was used to sleeping straight up on the floor and I actually really like sleeping on the floor, but when they came, it actually kind of looked weird. It was just this middle ground of being a bit off the ground, but not that much off the ground. And I couldn't really fit anything underneath my bed. So I ended up ordering the taller legs. And now my bed looks much more like a normal person bed. It looks a lot more presentable, respectable, and I can fit items underneath it because I do live in a small house and I don't have a lot of storage space. And if you do want to get a nicer bed, you can absolutely just get the futon and have it on the floor. You can get a tatami mat underneath it, which I do recommend for keeping moisture off of your bed. That can help stop the growth of like bacteria and it just keeps everything a lot cleaner. So you do have the option of getting something organic and nice and off the floor. And I would say if you want to have something a bit more traditional, looking like a bed, maybe more presentable to other people that you are dating, or maybe you have a spouse that likes to sleep off of the ground, then I think that the tatami bed frame is actually really nice. They did a great job with it and it looks really good. Yeah, guys, I've been sleeping on a Japanese futon for so long that I've kind of forgotten what is even important about a Japanese food shop. I'll tell you. What's up, dude? Good to see you. <laughs> Who is this guy? Have you guys seen him on YouTube before? We both have shiki boutons. We both made YouTube videos about it. So it's cool that we're living in the same house now. We're actually good friends, like organically met in Austin. Yep. Uh, and yeah, we both literally have the same bed now too. So it's pretty cool. So why do you sleep on this? It's firm and that seems kind of bad or counterintuitive to what you would want in a bed. You think you would want something super soft, super cushiony that you 
just feel like you're in a cloud. But what your back wants is different. Your back actually wants stability and structure. And there's a lot of points in your back, right, that are being engaged as you sleep on something firm that's just not happening when you're sleeping on a very soft and cushiony surface. You know, the sleep is a regenerative period of time where you're recovering and you're engaging all these points in your back. And I think that soft beds just don't achieve that. I was trying to find something that was organic and natural materials. A lot of beds are made out of polyurethane, polyester, latex, etc. A lot of times they're inorganic. They're sprayed with flame retardants and other chemicals that can sometimes leach into you. And uh, the Shiki boots on, I mean, the one we have is 100% organic cotton. Even the outside is organic cotton. And there is something to that. All right, bro. So give me a little rundown because I'm used to sleeping just straight up on the ground. So what's it like sleeping on a bed that actually has legs and is off the ground? Yeah, well, so it's cool that we have this ability because some of the benefits of the ground is how firm it is. And the Shiki Bouton right on that is great. Obviously, the Tommy mats are also very firm. But the benefits of having this, obviously, is that for one, it looks really good. Like, it looks like a traditional bed. So you're getting all the benefits of having, you know, the, the Shiki Bouton floor style with also a lifted bed. Because of the Shiki Bouton too, if you ever wanted to, you know, you could easily fold it up. You could sit down on this. Here we have the tatami mats here. Yeah, it's not hard to lift up. They're actually yeah. really heavy. You can see most tatami mats that you would buy on like Amazon, they're very thin. And uh, these are like traditional tatami mats, thick. These are known also as like dojo mats. Um, so a lot of times when they build dojos, they build them out of these. They're hard and they're very good for the uh, Shiki Bhutan because it allows the Shiki Bhutan to breathe prevents mold and also they smell good too. I don't know if you yeah. had them, they have like a scent and it's it's kind of like a, a wheat scent, if that makes sense, but it's, it's very nice. You just have the three inch mattress yeah. from them. This is the five inch and this has the topper. So how does this feel compared to the one that you have? Part of the benefits of this is it's, even though it is soft and cushiony, more so than you know a three inch one obviously would be, it still is firm. Like you still have a lot of support. You're not sinking into it. And I think that's partially due to the material. You know, majority of this is cotton and cotton doesn't have that much give. So even if you go heavy on the thickness to kind of have a little more cushion, you're still not sinking into this. Unlike, you know, you see like polyester beds, when you lay on them, it's almost like you're just like kind of sink in. Yeah, I still have a lot of like, my back is straight, it's firm, it's good. So uh, yeah, it feels actually nice. I'd actually like this a lot, so. That's a good point. I slept on the three inch $100 one from Amazon for a long time. This is obviously much thicker. It's five inches, plus it has the few inch thick topper, but it actually is, so it's more comfortable to sleep on, but I do notice the same thing where it's actually still firm, still supportive in my back, and it still feels like I'm sleeping on a Japanese futon, but just in a more comfortable way. Now it's time for the MTV Cribs okay. uh, tour. So take us to, to your room All in right. the house. Uh, let's go. <laughs> let's go over here. Oh shit! We got it. We got a dog on the bed. Uh oh, who's <laughs> that? Come on, who's that boy? It's daddy. So he's he's not allowed on the bed normally, but he's being... daddy's daddy's a bad boy. <laughs> Look at this boy. All right, get in. So yeah, this is this is my bed. It's very fairly similar. We have obviously the tatami mats. Mine look a little bit different than yours. I got this a while ago. Same company though. That and you have the, the lighter wood. Yeah, same, the lighter wood. The same, the same height. Yeah, and I mean, what I love about this, like we live in a small-ish space, so I can be very minimal and I can have a ton of things underneath. So all of my film gear and stuff like that is underneath here. Some of the downsides though of having a bed that the Shiki Bhutan did give you when it was on the floor is being able to easily fold it up and have the, all of the space to do whatever you want. So I yeah. do miss that sometimes, but um, you know, having some storage and you know, having just a traditional bed that people you know come into and they're like, oh, this looks cool. It's good. So it's been it's been good for me. Now, as far as how much money should you spend on your bed, that is 100% up to you. When I first got my bed, I was super poor. I did not have a lot of money. I was not doing the best financially. And it was amazing to be able to buy a $100 option off of Amazon. And I'm very grateful for that. So I would say if you don't have a lot of money, I would first start out with something cheap. You can even put down a bunch of blankets on the floor and sleep on that first to start. But if you are a bit older or you're in a season of life where you do have more money and you want to invest into something organic and that's good for your health and natural to sleep on, then I actually really do recommend the Futon Shop and their products. So I have the exact bed that I got and all the items that are on there, links below.
below. I totally love the product and I think if you're looking for something that is natural, organic, and a bit higher end, I absolutely recommend the Futon Shop. That being said, trust your intuition and get something that's right for you. Don't let anyone make you feel weird for wanting to sleep on the floor and have a minimalist bedroom. It's something that has brought me so much joy and simplicity over the years. And all jokes aside, if you are dating someone and you have someone over, just explain how passionate you are about the situation because most people probably haven't heard of something like this, but anytime I've explained like, yes, I sleep on the floor on a Japanese futon, I do it because of minimalism and simplicity and I love it and I explain a bit more about it, everyone understands and they really think it's cool. All right guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and please consider subscribing to the channel if you guys wanna see new incoming content on minimalist living and improving your life. I know I've been away from YouTube for a while, but I've got some really cool stuff planned in the pipeline and I'll see you guys soon. Ciao.